Hi, I'm Richard Evans, and over the last 10 years, I've helped over 1,000 students like you apply to UK universities, including the top universities, Oxbridge, LSE, UCL, Imperial, and many others. And today, I'm going to talk about the tricks I've learned over the past 10 years and the most common mistakes to avoid when applying. Let's jump straight in. Now, number one, the most common mistake that I see when students come to me for help with their personal statements is to forget that this is an applications essay. Now, we call it a personal statement in the UK, but I think the Americans have it right, calling it a motivational essay. You need to explain why you're applying to university, what you're going to do with that university should you get in, and how it's going to help your career. I think the Americans have it correct, calling it a motivational essay. Now, in the first paragraph, if not the first line, you want to explain what you are going to do with your university degree and how it's going to help your career in the future. The vast majority of essays I see in an advanced draft forget to tell universities why they're actually applying, and in the worst cases, it's not even clear that it is a university application essay, focusing far too much on why I'm great, but not why I'm good for this particular university or course. So what we're going to talk about to avoid this is my five-part framework that has helped students get into their first choice offer with 90% acceptance over the last 10 years. We're going to talk about one, your motivation, two, your academic demonstration, showing that you know what it takes to succeed in this course, three, an understanding of what university is, four, your work experience, should you have any, or extracurricular if you don't, and five, your career plan. Now, I do not suggest beginning with number one. It takes so long to get that first paragraph and that first line, so we're gonna come back to that at the end to bring it all together. We're gonna start with number two, your academic demonstration. Now, you are applying for a course, whether that's medicine, economics, accounting, cake decoration, whatever it is, you need to show that you understand what that is. It is not enough to just say, I like maths, or I like graphs, or I want to be a doctor. You need to demonstrate you really know what it takes. And in order to do that, you need to put two or three lines talking about a book, or a speaker, or something way beyond the A-level or IB experience. A good example for an economic statement might be, I'm interested in exploring why the neoclassical model is challenged by the Keynesian economics that demand can change supply in the long run. And if you're thinking, that makes no sense to me, good. It needs to be something that would only make sense to an economics personal statement. You need to be reading, or if you don't want to do reading, watching YouTube videos, learning about topics, and showing that you can analyze those to show the person reading it that you really do understand what that subject is far beyond the A-level, which isn't enough for the most competitive universities. Number three, showing you actually understand what a university is. Now, for undergraduate, this is more difficult because you're going to be applying to five different universities and you've got one application essay for all of them, and they might involve different courses. So what you want to do is talk about how you will enjoy the office hours. That's the one-on-one -on -one sessions with your lecturers. My suggestion is to pick the top university you want to go to, find a specific lecturer at that university, find out what they lecture on or even what they've written about and read the abstract of their research. This is so, so detailed, but if you can say, I'm fascinated by Dr. Malhotra, Imperial's resident lecturer, on their contribution towards science and the British nuclear energy, and explain how that's relevant to your career, you are showing you understand how you can make university useful for you and your career. And by doing so, you can really stand out above other applicants. You can also talk about societies, special trips that universities have, or careers. And for many courses, if you look at the specific courses and the brochures and prospectus, you might find very, very common modules such as organizational behavior or maths for statistics, for example, or statistics for psychology. By looking at these general modules, you can include those in your statement and say you want to talk about this without having to talk about a specific university. Now, for postgraduate students, it's much easier. You write a specific 
personal statement for each different university, which means you can name drop lecturers, courses, and other things to make sure that the university knows that you have done your research. And that I think is the tip which is most missed out, understanding what university is and making it relevant to your career. All right, coming up now to number four, we are looking at your work experience. If you have work experience, include it. If you're lucky enough to have work experience that is relevant to your career plan in university, I actually recommend putting this right at the top after your introduction, because it can be a huge standout. If you want to be a doctor or a carer and you've interned in a GP's practice, talk about what you learned and the experience and demonstrate you really know what that subject is all about. If you don't have work experience, you can also talk about other extracurriculars and bring it in here, but make sure that you make it relevant to what you learn at university. As one admissions specialist told me, they have read more personal statements from football captains in the UK than there could possibly be football captains in the UK. That doesn't impress someone, but talking about what you learned on the field and the teamwork and how that's gonna be relevant to your future career might just about be helpful. Now, if you have a non-professional uh, experience, maybe you have interned in a charity shop, for example. This can be relevant to anything you apply to, but speak about the responsibilities. Maybe you learned customer service. Maybe you had to deal with this particular challenge that will help you to stand out. But work experience is really great if you can show that you do have an understanding of your future career. Which takes us to our final paragraph, number five, your career plan. This is where you really stand out from the competition. A five-year career plan of what you intend to do with your degree after your degree. For example, maybe two years in a professional firm and you can name drop an example. You can even go onto LinkedIn and stalk on LinkedIn, not in person, a specific person, look at their career plan, look at what they did and replicate it. I want to do two years in Morgan Stanley before coming back to do a master's at the London School of Economics. Great if you can mention another university to show that you might be worth more money to them in the future before moving on to make partner at a certain firm. Showing you have thought about your career immediately shows that you're a mature, serious candidate who's going to help the university to achieve their employment statistics and potentially come back and be a fantastic alumni in the future. So finish strong with what you're going to do with your university degree. Now, before we get back to number one, if you're thinking, but where do I mention all of my skills and what I'm good at? Every single line should be demonstrating something but you don't want to just be saying, I love maths, I have a passion for your geography. This should be coming out through explaining your academic understanding of the subject at university level, and that that might be very different from A level or IB, through talking about the career and experiences that you've had, and through showing that university can help you to get that specific career plan that you have mentioned. Now we go back to the beginning, and we write our first line and our first paragraph last. Now we talk about your motivation. And if you don't know why you're applying to university, you are not ready to write your personal statement. So you need to take time and think, how in one line do I summarize what I want to do with my university degree? If in doubt, you can make that number five your career plan. You can combine them. I am applying for medicine because I want to be a doctor. Okay. I'm applying to medicine because I want to be a consultant. Better, I'm applying to medicine because I want to be an oncologist specializing in and mention a branch of medicine that I don't even know exists. That's great because that's specific and shows you actually understand what you can do with your degree. So all the amount of cliches people put into first lines and quotes and all sorts of things, the strongest start to most statements is, I am applying to X because I want to achieve Y. Short and sharp and then jump into demonstrating it. Now, lastly, a bit of practical advice on how to start a statement because it is a huge undertaking. And just by watching a video like this, you've already started to put yourself ahead of the competition. And if you're looking for any additional help, you can contact me, we'll put a link in the description below, and my team, we work with over a thousand consultants and ex-admissions professionals to help people get a competitive edge in their applications. Now for a practical tip, because starting a personal statement can be really daunting, looking at that blank piece of paper, and you can spend hours, trust me, I know I've done it, just trying to get that perfect first line. So to skip that and to jump straight in, I suggest taking my framework, writing down those five things in your online Google document, for example. Put down one motivation, 
two, academic demonstration, three, university understanding, four, work experience, and five, your career. Under each of those bold and headings, just put two little lines, two bits of demonstration that you think help, and now you're ready to begin. And we start with this process, we focus it on what you want to achieve with that degree, and we build it up step by step, taking one paragraph at a time. That is much safer than just writing on a piece of paper and not having any structure and ending up with someone like me saying, are you even applying to a university? Thanks for watching. I really hope you found that helpful. I'm part of a network of over 1,000 professional admissions consultants, and we are deeply proud to have a 90% success rate for our students of getting into their first or second choice university. If you'd like to join them and work with me or one of my colleagues, contact us through the information on screen now or in the description below. Good luck. I hope you get into your first choice university.